I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty loud. Um, for this video, to be honest with you, I just want to give you guys a little update. Um, where do I start? I have been working for the past couple of days. I believe I worked three days at this point. The job itself isn't too hard. Um, you know, I, I'm not gonna say I love it, but I don't hate it. You know, most jobs I've worked, I have hated and wanted to quit day one, but this is the first job, well, second job, actually. I can just work without being too stressed and thinking about job, culture, and all of that whatnot. You know, this is the first job where I can... Yo, look at that car. Oh, look at that Corvette. Oh, beautiful. I guess I should segue into the actual point of this video. Today, we're gonna be talking about adulting and you know, just the struggles of adulting because when I check my analytics, I do see, you know, you guys age group and who's mostly watching me and it's usually guys from 18 all the way up to fucking 40, honestly. I guess I just wanna talk about the daily struggles that, you know, we go through. So to be honest with you, um, I'm gonna just go off of my personal experiences and I live, of course, in the major city. So for some of you, this might not, you know, correlate with you because, you know, life is a bit different here in the big city. Of course, everybody knows the saying that when you live in a big city, nobody really gives a fuck about you. You're really on your own. Before I moved, I had this unrealistic expectation on what life is going to be and what I was going to do. And that honestly just came from me being so young and unexperienced. You know, I couldn't. Whenever, whenever you're a kid, I remember adults used to tell me I was going to change and that I was just so immature and that. You know, my, all my ideals and the things I believe in were going to change. And at the time, you know, I didn't believe them. I thought I knew it all at 18. No, fuck you. I know what I'm talking about. I know what the world is about. But in reality, they were true. They, were, they wasn't lying. You know, maybe living here in Miami kind of pushed that a little bit more than it would have been if I stayed back in my hometown and had my family, like, right around the block. Ever since I've moved, i really just been on my own. You know, it's really just been me providing for myself looking after myself, protecting myself. I really wish somebody would have told me, I mean, they tried, uh, fuck, they, they did try. Going from that school culture, you know, from elementary to high school to college, or whatever, and then transitioning into the adult life when you have nobody, you know, there's no help, there's no teacher. There's no, oh, I don't have the rent, so can I get a couple extra days? They don't care. They just, is either have it by the deadline or you're fucking kicked out. You know, there's no extra credit. It honestly took maybe, I would say a year for me to really finally understand that, Ty, this life is life. is life. If you want something in this life, you're gonna either have to work for it or just get damn lucky. And I, you know, from the things that I've been through, you, could, you guys would know, I'm not lucky. I'm not a lucky person at all. Pretty much everything that was valuable to me at the time is gone. You know, my car got towed and by the time I realized, it was taken to some different facility and I couldn't even get it because it cost way too much. It was like six fucking thousand dollars to get out. It cost more than a car itself. What the fuck? My wallet got stolen. My bag got stolen. When we finally got an apartment after being homeless for like, what, two months, I think it was like Memorial weekend or some shit. So we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't move in on the weekend. And then that Monday was like Memorial Day or some shit. So we couldn't, it was just, it was just a shit show. And I said in a previous video that you never think it's gonna be you. You know, you never think that you're gonna be the one in a bad situation. You're gonna be the one that's homeless. You're gonna be the one that's whatever, you know, whatever bad thing you thought you could think of. You never think it's gonna be you, but when it happens to you, something magical happens. It really just changed my perspective on life. At first, I was just so unrealistic. I just thought that things was gonna happen. I was gonna start YouTube and just blow up on YouTube for just because I wanted to. Everybody and their mom wants to be a YouTuber. Everybody wants to do this. It's like the funnest thing on earth. So why do I deserve it and not the next person? I have to work for it. And I have to like really understand that. Now, if you go back to the beginning of the channel, you would see that, you know, my videos wasn't the best, you know? And that's one, because of experience. I just didn't have, you know, the talents yet but also because I just thought that it was supposed to be given to me. I thought that, you know, oh, I posted a video, so it should get a million views. Like, no, so if it's not a good video, nobody's gonna watch it. You gotta put the work in, you gotta get a good title, good thumbnail, you know, good format, be entertaining, all of these things. And I know to a lot of you guys, you'd be like, Ty, of course, that's obvious, but I'm telling you, like, when I was a kid, nothing really bad happened to me. And maybe that's, hey, maybe I was a little privileged and I didn't even notice, you know, hey, that could be, that could be it. Maybe I have to do some reflection on that, but you know, moving out and just working through life and just seeing how everybody else is and just hearing people's stories because I'm not gonna lie, yo, people in Miami, especially over here, you know, they have some interesting stories. They got they go through a lot of things, which is everybody knows Miami's a fucked up city. And I'm trying not to let it fuck me up. It almost it almost did. I was close. You guys saw it. Like at one point I was I was drinking. I don't even like to drink. I hate alcohol. Alcohol is terrible. I fucked up my whole apartment because of it. And that's because 
a fucking Miami, living around, you know, crazy people telling me, Todd, just fucking do it. Yo, go crazy. And I did it, which was stupid. But hey, you know, we live and learn, luckily. Um, at this point, I'm just happy to have a job again because, as I said, you know, having no income is it's no bueno. It's no good. I think the most fucked up part about the schooling system is that they tell every kid that they're special, they can do anything in the world, which is true to a sense, in a sense, but they don't tell you that, you know, you have to work for these things. There's millions and billions, billions of people that want the same things, the same goals, the same dreams, the same whatever that you want. Why do you deserve it? And school just don't tell you this. They tell you that you can do anything. You're amazing. Here's an A medal. You get number one too. Like, it just it doesn't prepare anybody, anybody for adulthood. I don't even know how to do my taxes still to this day. I didn't even get my tax returns back last well, last year because I don't even know why. It just I tried to do the form and it said not filed. You didn't have you didn't it basically was saying I didn't work at all last year when I worked every when I know I did. You know, I've been working pretty much since I was 16. So like how can you say I was not employed when I was a fucking employee? I don't know. It just sucks that I had to learn the hard way. Well, I guess everybody learns this way, but I just wish school just, just, I don't know. I'm not one of those guys that's like, fuck school, fuck college, even though I dropped out. I'm not really, you know, against school. If you want to go to school, I believe you, you should, but be smart, you know. Make sure you get a degree that's going to actually make you money. Don't just go for like, uh, I don't even know. Go like for something like counsel, uh, finance, financial something, computer tech, something in STEM. Go in STEM, because yeah, I don't want you guys to go to college, then graduate college, and then have a useless degree that can't get you any money, and then you're in debt for the rest of life, and you're paying it off, and you're just depressed and sad and lonely. I don't want that to happen to you guys. So if you do go to school, make sure you know you go smartly. If anybody's you know still up and coming, you know still live with the parents or in school or whatever, just realize that life is, and I know you probably heard this a lot, but trust me, currently living through adulthood, because I skipped the whole, you know, go to college part and four years and have party. I skipped the whole step. I didn't want to do it. For me, it wasn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't, it, didn't, it wasn't hitting, you know. I've always cared about having my own stuff, growing my own business and just being my own individual. And I just knew school wasn't the route for that. School was really there to make you, not make you, but to assist you in becoming, you know, a worker and, you know, somebody that's going to be able to follow rules easily which is not a bad thing not a bad thing we need people like that but for me that's not who i am obviously you guys are watching the channel i don't know did i forget to say it yo guys you know if you're trying to move out or you're about to you know start this adulting journey realize that it's gonna be hard first number one it's always gonna be hard regardless of where you come from because number one they don't teach you anything about taxes moving out rent having a security deposit which i didn't even know was a fucking thing until i tried to get an apartment they were like yo where's your extra thousand dollars my what? I thought rent was only 2000 Yeah, but you need an extra whatever for the security deposit just in case, you know, you break something. I did not know that. Like, I wish somebody would have told me that. You know, maybe I should ask my parents. But that's another thing. I'm, I'm a very independent person. Um, I don't even like asking for help, which is probably not a good thing because, you know, it's not it's nothing wrong with asking for help when you need it. You know, I realize that. But it's just the pride in me, I guess. Maybe the toxic masculinity in me, whatever. It's the toxic side of me that just don't like asking for help. I've always felt like I was independent, don't need any help. When in reality, we can all use a little help sometimes because we're all just human. I don't know who you are, but I do want to say, yo, you deserve to be heard, boy or girl. And you know, hey, I get it. Sometimes it's, it's hard to just keep going. And sometimes you don't want to ask for help because you feel like it makes you weak or you're not good enough. But trust me, bro, fuck all of that. You know, life is hard, life is unfair. So sometimes when it's unfair, you can use somebody else's strats and, you know, get a little bit of help. But hey, it's just coming from a guy that's 22, you know, doing his thing. But um, I got to go because it is 7.10 I have somewhere to be um, at 8 and it's like a 30 minute ride and I got my one wheel. Hold on. I got the one wheel here. So yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in another video. But thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah. See you guys. Love you. Goodbye.